Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day or night or whenever you're watching this. If you're new here, welcome to the family. I'm so, so happy to have you here. It is bright and early today. It is 5.15. And I figured I would take you through a what I eat in a day because I do go to work pretty early every single day. And I actually did one of these on my stories on Instagram and y'all loved it. So I figured I would make it into a full video because I am doing a lot more things throughout the day where I focus on gut health and hormone health. So I'll just show you all my tips and tricks and meals I've been loving lately. I get to work pretty early every single day, but if I teach, I get to work extra early. I teach some fitness classes today and some yoga. I have one yoga class today. If you think this video will trigger you in any way, shape, or form, please click out. I won't be offended. I just want you to be okay. Your reminder that every body is different and every body is different. So what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me. Also, shout out to iHerb for sponsoring this video. Use this as inspiration and not comparison. Love you lots. Let's get into it. So the first thing I take in the morning is my L-glutamine. This is from Now Sports. I got it on iHerb.com. And I mix it in about a full jug of water. I take five grams every single day, but I started off taking three. It helps strengthen that intestinal lining, which in turn helps prevent leaky gut. There's a lot of other benefits to L-glutamine, including muscle recovery, especially if you work out like I do. So I really like taking that first thing in the morning. To keep my blood sugar balanced and to help my hormones, I will always have some healthy fats in the morning. I always bring three Brazil nuts because there are so many benefits to Brazil nuts. With the Brazil nuts, I'll have about a handful of rotten unsalted cashews. They're also rich in tryptophan, which is a neurochemical that our bodies turn into serotonin. And serotonin is our happy hormone. I'm having some matcha. This one is a premium Japanese matcha and it's from Sencha Naturals. I got this from iHerb. I will talk about I heard later on, but guys, this is the best quality match I've ever tried. Look at this. I'm not joking. Look how green this is. Do you see that? That's how you know that a matcha is quality grade because of the actual color. Anyway, so I have been recently trying to cut down on coffee. Um, I've also been struggling with costochondritis recently. I don't know if I talked about it ever on YouTube before, but basically I have inflammation around my heart. And the muscles in that area so it has been a huge struggle and recently my doctor told me that he thinks that I'm gonna have it chronically which really sucks but yesterday I did have some coffee and I had the most intense heart racing palpitations ever and I thought I was dying so today we learned from our mistakes and we get back into our matcha I'm adding in some monk fruit. I don't usually do this step, but I've been struggling with depression lately, so I'm using this barista Chobani oat. This is literally the best milk I've ever had for coffee or matcha or anything. This is probably one of my favorite supplements recently. This is the Vitamin Mineral Greens Powder. Comes in powder form, I just mix it in with water and chug it. It's honestly really yummy, and it's one of the only greens powders that I can drink just like that. It has so many amazing ingredients, and since using this, I've noticed such a difference in my digestion, my energy, my mood, and my skin. Honestly, out of all of the greens powders and stuff like that that I've tried, this is probably the best one. Super easy to drink. I have my matcha, I have my water with my L-glutamine, and then I always have a tea. I usually bring a spearmint tea with me because spearmint is really good for digestion, and I usually just sip on it throughout the day and refill it, but I feel like it's a really good start to my morning. Sometimes I'll have green tea if I'm not having a matcha already. I've been trying to eat 30 minutes after I wake up to help regulate my blood sugar and I am back on eating mangoes every single day. I used to do this all the time before, so if you remember, you're an OG. But because I am eating fruits in the morning now, first thing, I will pair it with my nuts to make sure that my blood sugar doesn't spike dramatically just from having fruit and make sure that it's a balanced snack. Strawberries on top, cut up always. Strawberries and matcha, such an elite combo. I have my chia pudding made with oat milk and I have matcha cashew butter, so freaking good. I usually do have two breakfast when I'm teaching. So this is my breakfast number one after my pre-breakfast snack. <laughs> I'm a snacky girl. I've already had four of these, like four full 
water bottles. The first one was with L-glutamine, the second one was just your regular water. Third one I put a little bit of pre-workout in, and then the fourth one, again, just water. I get a lot of my water intake out of the way in the mornings because I am teaching usually, so pro tip. Or just get like a really big water jug, which I actually do have at home, but I didn't bring, so. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, as you can tell, and I am hungry, so we're gonna have breakfast number two. Super exciting. This is honestly probably one of my favorite meals of the day. I love this meal so, so much, and it's super duper easy, super quick, so let me show you. I am on this massive sourdough kick right now, so the sourdough options that I have are this is some everything but the bagel sourdough and then this is i only have one piece of this left but this is a spiced raisin sourdough and then i have a sun-dried tomato sourdough that i haven't opened yet and then i have this regular sourdough i go back and forth with every single sourdough some days i want a sweet one savory whatever the vibe is but every day i will have two pieces of sourdough no discussion needed I will always have two pieces of sourdough. I'm loving sourdough, so. And sometimes I will have sourdough bagels. I have sourdough bagel downstairs, but. Do I want a bagel? No. I'm just gonna have some regular sourdough today, I think. Eggs on the toast with grass-fed butter, raw almond butter, a little bit of the cream cheese. And then I also put cheese on these eggs. Mm. Something that I've been incorporating pretty much every single day since I've been working on my gut health has been going for a walk after every meal, just so that I'm not sitting in my digestive discomfort. And honestly, this has helped immensely. I don't go for long walks at all. I go for like a five minute walk, 10 minute walk, and I take my dog because I have to walk him anyway but it also has really helped my mental health not just my physical gut health because i also feel like getting outside is so so important just in general so that's what i'm gonna do now hi baby do you want to go for a walk oh. so it is lunch slash maybe dinner time i took a nap and then i had a little dance party so my schedule is a little bit messed up now, but I'm gonna make my favorite easy sheep pen meal. I make this at least five times a week. And also I just made kale chips. Forgot to film it. I also burnt them, but here they are. Normally I would make this with tofu and I actually had this glaze that I usually do in mind, but I don't have any more soy sauce, so I can't do it. So we're gonna switch it up. Usually for my sheet pan meals, I grab whatever I have in the fridge. So whether that's tofu, chicken, salmon, usually it's more tofu than anything because I'm very icky when it comes to raw chicken. I don't know if it's because I was vegan in the past, but honestly it makes me want to Bomb. But here we are. I'm gonna cook some chicken. Uh, this is just in oil right now And I'm going to make a teriyaki chicken kind of vibe I think because honestly sheet pan veggies go with anything and I'm gonna make a tahini dressing for them regardless So I just want the protein to have its own flavor because I find that sheet pan recipes with just air fried tofu or like oven baked chicken breast I think it's really boring Thanks. 
so good. And I added some toasted sesame seeds. Cooked absolutely perfectly. Wow, that teriyaki sauce is really good. I'm into it. I've also been adding in more carrots, specifically raw carrots, but I do really like cooked carrots for my hormones. And if you guys want me to do a full video on how I'm helping my hormones, let me know and I will do it. Because I just don't want to get into all of it, but. We're back, it is 8, 8.32. And I'm getting a little snacky. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I'm allergic to gluten and dairy. I have been wanting to try these two brands for a really, really long time, but I can't find them anywhere in Canada. And iHerb has them on their website. I'm not surprised though, because iHerb actually has over 30,000 products on their website. So I definitely, definitely recommend checking them out because I actually screamed out loud when I saw these. But I figured I would have them have a little taste test for you guys and then also just have a little snack for myself. So the first thing that I got are these Simple Mills almond flour cookies. These are crunchy double chocolate. I'm so excited. These ingredients are actually insane. And I've also just seen these on Instagram all over and I really wanna try them. These are maple almond butter filled pretzels. I used to eat these with peanut butter when I was younger, but obviously I found out that I couldn't have gluten and I have not had them since. My parents actually eat these all the time still. And when I saw these, oh my goodness. So, I figured we're gonna try this and then we'll have a cookie. And then I'm probably gonna see what happens. I am a big snack person and we don't restrict in this house. All right, this is what it looks like. She's cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, whoa. Mm. Okay. This is what I'm snacking on tonight. I, these are so good, I have no words. I'm probably gonna finish this whole bag, to be honest, tonight. Now we try the cookies. I am excited for these. Because those almond butter, almond butter filled nuggets, I can't even say it, were amazing. I know this video is sponsored, but to be completely honest, iHerb has been awesome with the products that they have on their website. It's pretty good. They're little baby cookies. They're so tiny. I think that this would be really, really good dipped in tea. All right, my loves, so that is it for today's video. I'm gonna end it there. I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like videos like this or want to see more on my face, please click the subscribe button down below and give this video a like, wherever it is for you. My Instagram is Miranda Rocks, R-O-X. I will put it right there. I do have a discount code for iHerb and I will put it right here, but definitely, definitely go check them out. I love them as a brand and as a company. They are so kind, so sweet, and their selection is freaking ridiculous. I have never been more excited as a Canadian to have all of those options. They just had everything that I wanted to try. Anyway, that is it. I hope you have the most amazing week and I'll see you in my next video.